Hello everyone, today we will learn how to add new Facebook lead ad leads to Airtable. So whenever you are getting new leads in your Facebook lead ads, so you want them to be recorded in your Airtable and created a new record. So you can do this by creating an automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be the new lead generation in Facebook and our action will be to create a new order in our Airtable. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn that how can you create task over here in your air table and keep a record of all the Facebook lead ad generations. We will be creating this automation with the help of Pabli. So let us quickly sign in into our account. If you don't have an existing account, you can click on sign up for free. So now after signing in, I will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided to you by Pabli. We are going to use Pabli Connect to create today's automation. Click on access now and therefore you will reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here, you can see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your automation that you're going to create. I am going to name it as create record in Airtable from Facebook lead ads. So click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on the screen. So you can see two boxes with trigger and action written over them. So trigger is when this happen and action is do this, which means that whatever is going to be your trigger application, an event will take place. So that will trigger the flow of this workflow and further the action application will perform whichever action is assigned to it. So our trigger application for today's workflow is going to be Facebook lead ads. And the event will be a new lead. So you, what you have to do is go to your Facebook page, like this is my Facebook account, go to pages and then select a page where you have to create a form. All right. So here you can come to Meta Business Suite. You don't have to create a new page if you already have pages. Select your page from this list. Like I want to create a page for the salon. And here in salon, I will go to all tools in the left side panel and select instant forms from there and then I will create a form in my page the salon okay so I will create a form a new form like you can see and I will name my form as so whatever query people are having about the salon they can ask over here okay so you can choose according to your choices if you want to upload an image or use an image from the ad itself like you can see over here you can choose that then a headline okay a headline is there and then the description is okay this is the description now questions that you are creating the form for so when you scroll down you can see full name and email address is already here so you can add a category of phone number as well okay so the person has to enter the email full name and phone number and then this form is for queries so you can add one question of your choice short answer question and the question will be enter your query okay like this now this is a question and it is a short answer question so your form is ready now in case of privacy you have to add a link so i am going to add a privacy link over here so i will add the privacy link of my website that is the salon and then the link text is then completion in case of completion this is thanks you're all set description is that you can visit our website so the website link is here so for now i am adding a dummy link over here like this okay now one thing left that you have to enter the description also so this form and publish so now the form is published so you can see it right here so in order to fill the form and get the response over here first connect your Pabli connect to your Facebook account click on connect add new connection and then it will automatically detect the presence of your account and yes the authorization will be successful like this but in order to fill this form from here you have to go to another page which is called meta for developers like I have already opened it up for meta for developers over here after you log in into your Facebook already, you don't have to log into your Meta for Developers page separately. So just click on My Apps. From here, you have to go to Tools and then go to Lead Ads RTO Debug Tool. When you reach here, you will reach this page where you have to select your ad, your page. So that was The Salon. So search for The Salon from here. It's a big list of all the pages that you have in your Facebook account. 
सो द सेलो माइट बी समवेयर हियर या हियर इट इज द सेलो एंड इट विल ऑटोमेटिकली सिलेक्ट द फॉर्म अदरवाइज यू कैन सिलेक्ट योर फॉर्म फ्रॉम दिस ड्रॉप डाउन मेन्यू एज वेल नाउ वेन यू क्लिक ऑन प्रिव्यू फॉर्म यू विल गेट द box where you have to fill in the details for the form so make sure that you select the forms over here as well so again select the salon from here and which is the form you are working upon you have to select and for for public connect also now when you click on save and send test request public connect will start waiting for a response of whatever submission is being done on this preview form page okay so when you click on save and send test request go to your meta for developers page click on preview form and then fill the form so my query is and my email address is already entered over here and this is my name so i will just correct my name as and i'll change my email address as well and i will change my phone number as well this is my dummy phone number and next so i have filled the form clicking on submit is done you can click on view website so it will take you to to the website that you entered the dummy website but we are not going there so we'll just click on cancel and go to public connect to see the response and here is the response see what are the charges for the hair spa so this was the query the email address the name and the contact number so we can save this data right over here and now we will proceed to the next step that is going to be our action application that is air table where we are supposed to create a record so choose your action application as air table and then choose the event to create a record now where you have to create a record first of all choose a base where you have to create a record and then create this workspace now i have already created a workspace called facebook lead ads so whatever will be the data coming from facebook lead ads will be collected over here like you can see the name the query the email address and the contact is already over here so now we are going to add this data that we have just received from the cello form over here in the record in this workspace so let us connect our air table click on connect add new connection and now you have to enter a token in order to get a fresh new token for this fresh new workflow you have to go this developer hub section and follow all these steps these instructions are for your help only click on developer hub and when you reach here you have to click on create new token on your right top corner here you will give a name to your token so it will be facebook okay then add scope scope is something that this token will be able to record data from which all fields so you have to select these on the basis of what are given over here okay so similarly i'm going to select those one by one there are almost 7 that you are supposed to select and webhook manage so i have selected the scope and the access will be all current and future bases and all current and future workspaces okay so now we have done this click on create token and a token will be created copy this token and paste it over here so that your air table account will be connected and once this is done you have to choose your base id and your table so in the base id will be a drop down menu so type over here facebook lead ads this is the name of our workspace and then it will automatically select the table because we are having for now just one table over here okay so now name query email and contact in the same way i have already created my columns over here you can see all the fields over here so we are supposed to map these fields and how are we going to map these fields whenever you click on any empty field that you are supposed to fill in in your action application it will automatically ask you to insert data from the previous step so the previous step was facebook lead ads so just make sure that you click on this drop down menu and then you will find all the responses that you're supposed to fill in so what was the name the name was riya james so i'm going to select riya james in the name so every time a new name comes and is filled over there in the form so that name will be reflected over here and then it will be coming under the name column also then in the query section again you will click on the drop down menu and map the query right here in the email address again you can select the email address so it is getting mapped and in the contact you have to map the contact number enable type casting leave it to false only now click on save and send test request and wait for the response from the action application in the meantime you can see it's already over here it shows no error which means nothing to be corrected just click on save to save this workflow and then we will go to our air table to check 
have we recorded this response? Yes. The name, the query, the email and the contact is already here. So we have created a successfully working work, workflow over here. Our trigger was Facebook lead ads. We collected a new lead over here by creating a form in our pages, selected the page and then we went to the important part is the meta business suite over here and then the meta for developers page where we got this option to preview form and fill the form. Further, we created a workspace in Airtable and then we were able to create a record from that response that we received from the new lead and Facebook lead ad. So this was the whole workflow. I hope this helped. Not just these applications, but you can integrate many other applications using Pabli Connect. If you have any issue regarding Pabli, you can email us at support at pabli.com. You can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any doubts regarding our pricing, then you can connect us through this given website. If you found this video helpful in any way, then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations. We will meet in the next video. Till then, do not forget to like our video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.